This video is going to teach you how to create an assignment on Google Classroom. When you first create a Google Classroom or get into a Google Classroom, you're usually on this page, which is your stream. Um, the stream is a good place to post announcements, things that aren't necessarily assignments, things you just want to share with your class. It's also a place where students can post things for other students. Um, I honestly don't use the stream very much. I use the classwork page the most. Um, so we're going to click on classwork. And this is where you'll post all of the classwork, the things that students actually have to do in your class. Um, when you click create, you'll see that there are four options for you, assignment, question, material, or reuse post. Now, question allows you to post a question, kind of like an old school message board where you have a question and then there are many, many responders and the students can respond to each other and that kind of thing. Material lets you post, say, an article or something like that for them to read. Reuse post is for those of you who are teaching more than one section of a particular course, you can reuse the same post so you don't have to recreate it over and over again for every classroom. Right now though, we're gonna be creating an assignment. So I'm gonna click assignment. And when you create an assignment, it creates a Dropbox where students can attach or create assignments within the assignment so they can type or they can upload pictures or they can upload videos, whatever it is that you want them to do, they can attach it to the assignment because it's kind of a, a Dropbox folder for them to attach stuff to. So we want to give our assignment a title. I'm gonna call this one Tech Tools Intro. And we want to give a few quick instructions for the students. I've already typed mine out, so I'm just gonna paste them there. Um, you've already seen these instructions as you entered today. Um, then at the bottom, you can select a total number of points, and this can be as many points as you want. You could give them 10,000 points for something. I usually give 10 points for everything. Um, pick a due date. I'm going to select today, Monday the 5th, um, a time. Um, I almost always keep mine at midnight, which is the default. Then you can pick a topic or you can create a topic. Topic is essentially a tag for your assignments, but it's even better than that because what it does is it separates it into sections on the classwork stream. So once you have like 40 assignments up there, it's nice to have them divided into sections for the students so they can find what they're looking for. Topic allows them to do that. So I am going to create a topic and I'm gonna call this topic Padlets. So this is, and we'll, we'll put all our Padlets in this topic. And then you either click Assign or you can come over here to this little arrow and you can schedule it. So I'm gonna schedule this assignment. Here's why. When I click Assign, it posts the assignment right away. Um, I'm usually doing this during my planning period and students are in class and if they have the app on their phone, it will notify them immediately that they have the assignment. So I don't like to do that. I don't want them to be disrupted and get that little ding while they're in another class. So I'm gonna click schedule and I'm gonna schedule this for November 5th at 8 a.m. Schedule. Now, this won't post, it'll be hidden until November 5th at 8 a.m. at which point everyone in the class uh, will get a notification that it has been posted. Oh, but bummer, I forgot to post my link to the Padlet, so I have to go back and edit it now. Um, for those of you wondering, yes, I did that on purpose. All right, so to edit my assignment, if I have messed up somehow, um, I'm going to click the assignment, and then it gives me these three little dots over here. These three little dots, I call them my editing dots. I can click them and edit the post. It opens back up for me to repost it. And I can attach, attach all kinds of things to my assignment. I could attach a document, like a Word document or a PDF. Um, I could attach a Google Doc, um, which this is really valuable. I'll talk more about this. I can attach a YouTube video link, or I can attach a link to anywhere online. And that is what I'm going to do. So. I want a link to my Padlet, so I'm gonna come over here and copy the link. And oops. And then I'm going to paste that link right there. 
so that you guys can use that link to respond to the Padlet. And then I'm going to reschedule my post and it's taken care of. I have successfully edited the post. So that is everything you need to know about how to create an assignment. Um, it's really quick, really easy, and it, it provides students with a lot in a very, very easy space that they all have access to.